Hi guys, it's Red and we are back with Arthur. We're back at the camp because uh, there's a letter that apparently has arrived for him. So we are going to go read the letter and then we are going to meet Trelawney in Saint Denis. So I'm curious My who dear sent this. Arthur, Mary. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I wanna be? Why couldn't you change? and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment. Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh? Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Wow, Mary. So she needs our help again. She's staying in the hotel in Saint Denis, which is good because we're gonna go there. So we have arrived at where Mary is staying at. So... Arthur! Ooh. Arthur! Up Mary! Here. You came! Yeah. I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Okay, nosy. <laughs> Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? <clears throat> oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best that. guy you know at frightening decent people. Yeah. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Help Mary or don't help Mary? Please. Hmm. Come along, then. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Of course we're gonna oh, help Arthur. Her. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been 
gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the mm. filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But. But? Well, I don't know. This is cute. So We're going together. To? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. <laughs> it wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Well, don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is really sweet of Arthur. It's almost like they're together, dare I say. I mean, I feel like. Even though they aren't, it's quite obvious that they still very much love each other. <sighs> but maybe they're just not right for one another. And I think they both know that. It's this sad. Is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Okay. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. <laughs> you can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. <laughs> Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner, I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. <laughs> but if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. If you insist, keep your distance or you'll be spotted. This way. Okay. Down here. I'm coming. I just don't want him to turn around. He went around the corner. I know, Mary, I know. Huh? Did he disappear? Who is there? What's he up to? You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. Oh, he's puking. Oh, that's adorable. We'll just follow the smell. Yep. Yeah. Come on. And the puke trail. He just went between those crates. Yeah, I know, Mary. I can see him. Thank you, Mary. Appreciate you. Oh. Come here. Quick. Mind? Where you go, 
Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? There's no I way. I think so. What he's he's, he's drunk? I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> I mean, true, though. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Rude. I mean, Arthur looks great in this outfit. What he do you mean, went Mary? Down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't lose sight of him. That's hard to mess with his Don't bright say red coat. Show you a good time. I'm just yeah. glad you're here. Okay. I'm moving up. Go off the go. Where has he gone now? Oh, he's right there. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's waiting. Waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was yeah, mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself come, killed. Come you don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, Mary. Catch up with the buyer. Okay. Hey! You, Ashton! Hold her right there! <gasps> Don't you even think about it. Is he? Do you see how they zoom? It's so, right. so hilarious. There's no coach. way. Wagons aren't that fast. I refuse to believe. It's always in like a cut scene that this will happen. They will just like instantly just zoom off at a unrealistic speed. Is he? What are you doing? Yeah. Did you hear me calling you? Okay, go, girl, go. Go! Get them, girl. We're gonna catch up to them. They're in a wagon, for God's sake. I mean, I know they're apparently way faster than the average wagon, but we've got one of the best horses in the game, if not the best horse, so. We'll have no problem. You see, you see them zooming? <laughs> It's so ridiculous. Okay, I did not mean to jump over the fence. Let me jump back. There you go. Um. Okay, jump to the wagon. What the hell? What the hell? What? What just happened? You can jump onto wagons. By pressing X. Why does my horse not come? Is he? Yeah. I have no idea how that happened. Maybe I've got to like, I don't know. I'm gonna try again. I love how they're not stopping as well. The fear is real. Okay. 
drive to a secluded spot. Oh. Okay. Why do I have to drive to a secluded spot, I wonder? I mean, if we have to buy the brooch back, I'm happy to do that. Because I don't want to hurt anyone upon the request of Mary. I don't want um, the relationship to sour too much, you know? If I can have a choice, if I have a choice. Get Mary's brooch from the buyer. There he is, look at him, terrified. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Buy the brooch. Here. Here. Take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Yeah. Okay. We got the brooch back. $100. I thought it was going to be something ridiculous. Like 500 You know? 100 easy no problem where's your father i don't know you want me to go find him again not really you want to take a walk i'll take you to the trolley thank you arthur really needs a bath i know <laughs> i was like he doesn't look too bad he looks pretty uh, rough Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Accept or decline? Obviously, we have to accept. Yeah. Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relour. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lim. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Back here again. The best theater on the map. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I I'm Aldridge T. Abington, 
the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as a starting or not. Are you of in the a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever <laughs> assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage Ooh. any of you to dabble in all three Ooh, if you have it. a settled aversion to <laughs> manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! The singer. I wonder if she's going to sing the same song or a different song. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. just loving the show she's not saying a thing <laughs> I love I love that it is a different song as well. I was really expecting it to be the same song. It's, it's a different one. It was amazing. Mary enjoyed it, obviously, as you can tell. <laughs> it's always packed, this place. This, this is the second time we've been here. Perfect. I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, And it's tones, just right? as packed as yes. the first time She's we went. She's pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any Fist beast at all, best. from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire, or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both, <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanservino. Ooh. Stop it. Oh, the firewoman. Wonderful. See, now Mary's talking. Make a move? <gasps> oh, God. Maybe we'll do that. We'll do that at the end, I think. You think or no? Oh, 
about should I make a move? Oh, this is hilarious that I get to do this. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. This is much better than the first time. Maybe she got some complaints. <laughs> Maybe she heard me antagonizing her and not being very nice in the crowd. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. Like I, I was doing a mix of like cheering and being mean. <laughs> Doing that every day. I can't the animation for this is crazy good. The dancing. Very on point. I would so do this. Should I make a move? I'm going for it. Creep in my hand behind the gate. I can't tell if it worked. Did it work? No, it didn't. Oh, it didn't. Oh, I'm sorry, Arthur. Oh, Mary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Awkward. Pretty sure he tried to put his hand out and then he put it right back. So maybe this was not the moment. Yeah. The show is still really good. Come on, fire lady. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hopefully we get another shot. I don't know. Mm. Surely that must be really hot for her though because the fire is really quite close to her body so I'm thinking she's like she must be feeling the warmth from the fire for sure yeah I think that's it Mary's not saying anything. That's a bad sign. <sighs> this oh, is rough. Enchanting. I'm trying, Arthur. I'm trying. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare really? for the ears of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. This is different. Hey, now, Can I make a move? Oh, I can't make a move. Ah. Oh. Maybe I did it at the wrong time. I mean, to be honest, Robin, the first, the singer, was really good. These are just like, I mean, these are good, but on paper, they're not like crazy good shows, you know? I mean, these guys are basically just dancing. The guy before with the um, 
catching the bullet in the teeth, that was superior. That was like the best. Particularly because we went out and tried it ourselves. So that was that one that one was like the best one so far, for sure. But they're all really enjoyable, you know, regardless if they're super difficult to pull off or not. They are really good. Ta da That was great! Oh! Is it not finished? <laughs> you French girls are all right. Well, those are all the chances we got for Mary. <laughs> and none of them worked. Well, the only one that we could try didn't work, so... Maybe there was a certain point that you had to try and it would have been successful, or maybe it just Aren't they lovely? wasn't going to work oh, either way. A sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous, awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. Humble. We flounder through Humble the much? of humanity. With only bright moments like these, before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Okay. Now she's clapping. All right. Well, shall we? <clears throat> yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh... Is it too late for us, Arthur? No, Mary. No, it's not. I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Mission completed, fatherhood, and something else. <sighs> wow. As if she said that, I was really, really not <laughs> expecting her to say that. Mainly because we obviously tried to make a move, and she... It just... Yeah. It wasn't great. But 
she said that and I'm shocked. I'm shocked at Arthur's reply as well. I feel like, I don't know. I was thinking that maybe she'd be more hesitant or he'd be more hesitant like they both would. But I guess if they love each other, you know. Then that's what matters. Obviously, I'm sure that Arthur would love, like he said, nothing more to, than to run away with Mary. But obviously, there is the gang, and you know, the gang is Arthur's family. So there's no way he would just up and leave them, even though he really, really wants to. But, yeah, Sadie Adler. I'm kind of surprised that there hasn't been a funeral for Sean. Like, I don't... I was expecting there to be a funeral or something. Um, but we haven't had that, so I guess, like, we're just moving on. Uh, Trelawney has been investigating the riverboat and wants to meet you at the tailor. And then there's this one. Dutch mentioned that the gang might be able to help Evelyn Miller with lobbying officials in Saint Denis on behalf of Rain's Fall, the Native American chief. And then obviously Sadie. Who wants to speak to us? Is there anybody else? Nope. No, there isn't. Weapons forbidden. Okay. Um, yeah, so I want to see Trelawney first. That's what I want to do first. Is there actually, before we do that, yes, there is a saloon. Out of the damn way. I want to give Arthur a bath. Because it's been a while. So we're going to hitch up Izzy. Buenas tardes. And go inside. Good evening. Mm -hmm. I got a drink over here. Where is Tom? It's too bad. It really is. Can somebody horse whip him for me, please? Is she okay? The love of all that is holy. Bonsoir, monsieur. <sighs> please, can you keep it down a bit, Lillian? Ah! <laughs> Bonjour, Sherry. Hey, what's your pleasure? Um, are you looking to have some fun? Can I have a bath, please? Can I get please? a hot bath, please? Oh, I'm afraid. I'll have the girls make it for you. Just, just head on up. It's okay. Sometimes no a quiet night is what you need. I'm good. We're good. Thank you. Appreciate that. What Excuse me. What does a hag have to do to get drunk around here? Oh, Lillian. Please. Lillian. Is she not so she's not drunk already? She wants to get drunk. She's acting like she's drunk already. Ooh, a little balcony area. This is so beautiful. Wow. This is ooh. This is nice. I love a good rooftop area. Ooh, what's around here? Oh, it's the back. It's the back way. Um, let's go through these doors and through this, through this door. We're going to have a nice, hot, bubbly bath. Please. 
Would you like help in there? Um, yeah, decline. Okay, thanks. All right, you go ahead. Oh, we will. Um, left arm. Okay. Left leg. I don't know if Arthur's getting skinnier or not. In some, uh, in some cutscenes, I feel like he's getting skinnier, but in others, I feel like he's uh the same these bubbles are weird that's so weird okay we're all done i think we look better Maybe we could buy a bed and sleep until morning as well, just because it is night time now, so. Five minutes walk from here, you can see houses don't even have lights in them. Ain't that the way. Oh, what do you have? Can I get a room, please? Okay, room's all set. Just head upstairs when you're ready. It's been a struggle. Thank you. Careful now. Okay. Someone tried to buy a room with pennies. <laughs> I told him to take it to the This store. is a really nice place. I mean, look at this. Look at this chair. This chair alone is just pure opulence. Okay, the room is here. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. There's nothing in there. <laughs> of course there isn't. Um, we can sit. Oh, we have a balcony area as well. Oh, it just leads out. Okay. I thought we might have like our own little private section. But this is good. Room tour. Oh my god. It must have cost a lot of dollars to get this room how it is. Um, should I change? Shall we change, guys? Gunslinger, Winter Slinger, Gunslinger, Grizzly's Outlaw, mm -hmm. The Ruffian, The Rebel. The Innocents. Um, I really like this one. I don't know why, but I do. This one obviously is my favorite. Um, what should I wear? What should I wear? This one looks interesting. I haven't worn this, I don't think. Yeah, this is different. I like it. Hello. Whew. So, yes, we are going to see Trelawney once we awaken. And, um... Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do. Something about... What was it? It was about investigating the river boat. And now there's also a stranger mission. Ooh. Charles. Huh. Okay. Change of plans. Whoa. 
Hello there. Hello. Well, hello, handsome. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. Everybody's just like moving in slow motion. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me tell you. When the big oh, ones come, just walk walk so slow. City hall the way. Is I, feel like do, here, I feel where like where they do. I feel like they do it on way. purpose. Bonjour, monsieur. Like I don't think they walk that slow right. until they're in front of you. You know. Careful now. I don't know, maybe maybe it's just me. Okay, Izzy. Look at Take it easy, I serious. Ah, yes. Let's all keep the peace, shall we? Yes, let's keep the peace. Good morning. So yeah, I'm gonna go see Charles now. I'm going to see Charles before he disappears from the map completely. And then I have to wait however long I have to wait to see him again. I'm going to see him now. To not have that happen. Stop! Ooh. Uh oh. What's wrong with you? Uh oh, thief. Go, Arthur, go. You can't cross the law and live. Just let the law handle this, don't worry. Okay. That's how a lawman solves a problem. I mean, I have no if he's thieving. Yeah, he deserves a punch in the face. Ooh, watch yourself now. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, gallery. Excuse me. Laurent. Laurent. Or something. I don't know. Go up. Oh, up the stairs. Ooh. This is different. Enjoy the show. Excip if that's Exhibition. Possible. It's a free show, so don't come asking for a refund. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. Okay. Sooner you go in there, sooner you can come out. <laughs> Exhibition of oil paintings uh, by the world the renowned are not artist. By gallery staff. Charles Chatonet, featuring new there, artwork never before that. seen. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. Hey, mister. Are you ignoring me? I've had better days, that's for sure. The party. Oh, wow. Okay. I see how it is. Um. I think that it's Greek. Morning to you. Or could be Roman. Could be Roman. Ooh. Morning, lady. That's far too modern for my taste. Mr. Chardonnay, he's just a terror. It's making me blush. <laughs> I find the brushwork baffling. What's he? Trying to represent, aside from a filthy mess. It's up. You know. Wow. Wow. I'm starting to notice a theme here. The Don't know about you guys, but I'm certainly paint. noticing some similarities, sort of a theme. Ooh, I wonder who that could be. With that little cheeky bottom. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, 
alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe That's she her should husband? have exposed herself like that. This is disgusting. Come on, horse, we'll leave it. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't. Mean, I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Oh god. Wait, let me just let me just let me just beat this guy up. Knock him out, Arthur. Oh. Oh. There we go. Can I loot them? <laughs> uh not yet, Charles, not yet. I'm just I'm just it's still I'm fighting a lot of I mean they're just they just keep fighting off do they have nothing on them really I thought they'd be like they're coming in fancy suits wow they have nothing on them okay I'm coming Charles I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming I'm following I'm following you take what fine brandy no I don't want to take that for a few days really for a few days Okay. Let's go. Go, Charles, go. What are you waiting for? This way, More of them? Come on. I think we are okay. Huh? The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring. Huh? Oh, I thought that was a gun. It was not. He was holding. It's just a cup. Archer test people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases will have punch holes through. Uh, yep. I told you True. I was a <laughs> True. You did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Mm hmm. You are such a whole ass, Charles. That's exactly what you are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. Oh, you know a lady. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> oh. <sighs> the artist's way completed mission completed and they locked the door so quick i was trying to like go in but i couldn't it was like blocked so well another child's mission no. i mean it's just Obviously it was going to be that. I mean, somehow it always turns out to be him getting exposed for X, Y, and Z. Okay. Now I want to see who this other stranger is. The stranger. And do whatever this mission is. There you are, Izzy. What's that? Um, okay, so it's up here and to the left. So what's this? What is this? How do I access this? Oh. This is pretty. Ooh. Hey, eyes ahead, friend. Oh, sorry. Um, Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exquisite. This is so beautiful. This is why I love Sandini because there's so many, there's so much greenery, you know. 
This is extremely delicate. Oh, okay. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Algernon. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Enchanté. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more mm. gothic. I also make mm. corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Whalebone? Uh, sure. They were made and out of whalebones? What is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> An artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? It, no, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. A wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? Hmm, I do. Okay. Exceptionally well. Well, exceptionally what do you need? well. Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. 15? I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. <laughs> I will see That's what I can do. A lot. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Find all the items requested and bring them. I mean, the my least favorite missions are go and retrieve yeah, missions. Unless it's for people, like I love obviously doing bounties, that's different, but if it's like finding objects or like plants, uh, you know, things and things, I just, I, they're my least favourite missions to be honest, and it sounds like the only, I mean he said that he pays exceptionally well, um, but luckily, I don't need money, so uh, I th I'm going to change my outfit because I think Arthur's a bit hot. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. I feel like the NPCs are so sensitive on here. Like, I feel like they're a little too sensitive. Well, not too sensitive, but I feel like it just... Because I'm, like, always on the go. Um, they obviously get scared and react. But... Like I'm trying to be intimidating or aggressive, you know. Anyways, finally we are going to see Trelawney. We're going to meet him. What the hell is this? Sorry about that. Sorry about what? Didn't mean nothing by it. I don't got time for the game. Okay. There's no thieves about, is there? A fine night of ah, debauchery. Ah, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. 
<laughs> Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Okay, Trelawney. We have to buy the three-piece suit. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. Ooh. Ooh. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow. Come okay. On, let's get you to the barber. Sure. The Good barber? Night, gentlemen. Let me see the outfit. The whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. Wow, Arthur. Right. Uh, this the is very nice. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Mm -hmm. don't, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Uh, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, <clears throat> all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. I'm looking forward to this. Arthur's suit is very, very nice. I wonder what he's gonna make us do with our hair. My good though. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Style your hair or beard at the barbers. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Mm. Okay. This hairstyle seems to be my favorite. Um. Make him look like a prince, sir. I... Ooh, Arthur, hello, I'm getting the pomade, yes, Arthur, with this hairstyle, it's very nice, can I trim my beard though, Arthur's beard, not my beard, <laughs> I have no beard, um, facial hair, there we go, trim, just a little, little, tiny little bit, just a bit, just a bit or should we leave it um i'm going to leave it actually it looks nice like this dare i say there very smart very very smart come on let's get to the docks i've arranged some transportation for us Ooh, a coach. Oh, how extravagant. I know. Oh, hello. Got a driver. George, to the Grand Corrigan. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad, the Prince. Get the cheeky, Chalorne. The coach. We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. 
So, who's a mark? Is he all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. I know. <laughs> really? Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Mm. Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. <sighs> I don't like going without my gun. Now remember what I said. Or guns. Everyone is the author I love my of guns. his own good fortune. Yes. yes. Yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There I hope I don't mess this up. How wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. I do. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Board the riverboat. Oh, champagne! Okay. All around. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. Well, I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Mm -hmm. ha, 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 ha. Now where can I get a cocktail? Strauss knows the hands that will be dealt. Follow his instructions while playing poker. I are will try. Tonight, hey there, partner. Hello, How do you do? sir. Feel free to join oh, a game, sir. Oh, you have son. the time there? No, We sorry, have a I chair here with your name on it, sir. Okay, let me just, um, explore a little bit. Howdy. Ma'am. I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. Hey, mister. Hey. <laughs> Oh, I really want to go upstairs and check out the place, but I won't. I'll sit down. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. All in. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Oh. Quiet. Okay. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery um. king. I should have brought my other wallet. So Not should I my fold? Preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in. Call. He shook like his I head no. Mr. Callahan, cowards. Mm. I'll call. Call. Uh. 
Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting two queens. Hosiery, I think that's good. I just look better in a suit. Okay, I'm gonna go all in then. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Interesting. Hey, cowgirl. No player fully matched or bet. The difference of one hundred dollars has been returned to you. Okay. Ship. <laughs> Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right. Uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. Look at a you. A watch. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Really? Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Two kings. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. To go all in. Okay, I'm gonna go all in then. Mr. Callahan? Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Oh, oh shit. Uh-oh. No. Yes, you little beauty. What? Good lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God. Damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? We shall. Damn. Please, cash yeah. these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. How do you do? You're having okay. quite a night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. You're talking about Javier. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but Vienna. Wow. I've got my own little law giver right here. Mm. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. <clears throat> oh, this is stunning. Look at this. Like this watch, sir. It's I beautiful. It earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. <laughs> it's not like Mr. Blythe to leave here dang. Well. I'm sure he Here can afford are. it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just give me one second, sir. Look course, at this. Don't 
Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Okay. I can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the okay. others. Okay. Sure. There's nothing else. I just want to double check. What's in here? Oh, it's leading to outside. To the outside. Okay. Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Okay. <sighs> ooh, 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 ooh. Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. <sighs> and how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. Right. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Okay. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look. There's your friend. No, sir. My friend is not a no-good chief, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Aww. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. Uh -huh. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Ah! Come on, Arthur. Oh. oh, so much for... I don't have no tonics. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Oh, you got him? Okay. Hang on. Yeah, let's move up. I can't talk when we're trying to get them here. Ooh, Strauss. Don't forget I'm We need to get up. There's so many guards. I can loot them. Oh, I shouldn't loot them. I really shouldn't. Okay, okay. Ah! There we go. What are you doing? Grab. Oh. What are you doing back? Come on. Remedy. I can't see them. I have to get closer. I'm gonna die. Come on, let's go, go, let's go, on. let's go. Oh! <laughs> oh, I died. No. I was doing pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty bad. I was panicking, guys. I didn't know where they were coming from. Where was Come they coming on, let's from? Get the hell out of here. Where was they coming from? I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly oh. me. I clean forgot to bring my... Ah. Don't be a oh, oh, no. Okay. Escape the riverboats. What do you think I'm trying to do? Oh, they were like behind me. Come on, in we front go. of me. Damn it. To the left of me, go. to Come the on. right of me. Ah. Ooh. Okay. I died again. 
<sighs> Maybe I should just run. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. I really feel like I should I don't know. shoot this them and show. run. Silly me, I clean forgot to bring my gun to But mainly just run. Am I supposed to go out this way? Damn it! We gotta go! Come on! Javier! Come on! Get in there! Do we have to shoot them? There we go. Come on, Javier. Is he coming? Arthur, come on, we gotta go. Something just touched my leg. Are we swimming back? Are you serious? There's no way. What about Javier? Was that a bug that he was just standing there saying, come on, we've gotta go, we've gotta go? Well, Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. Yes, and indeed. Watch, uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. <clears throat> all right, come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> He said, we'll give it back then. We'll give it back then. I hope we get to keep it. I doubt it. I mean, maybe we will. And then we just sell it. We'll just have to sell it or something. I don't know. I can't believe I died like twice. But I think it was because I was going the wrong way. 3,000. My share? I got a share of 750. There's no way. Eight thousand five hundred. Ooh. That's a lot of money. It's a whole lot of money.